Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Detroit Tigers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll. And on the hill in this one, Jack Flaherty. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. The wind and the pitch. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Kicks and fires. Up the middle. Throw on to Torkelson. That takes care of Springer. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Here. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Really bringing some thump at the plate lately. Oh, Kiermaier on the go. Pitch misses. Great assist. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Not even close there. Two and oh. Oops. Late on that fastball. There's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. And it's through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Turner climbs in on that right side. The American League leader in batting average this season. There's a strike at the knees. And it's 0-1. Here's a rip to short. But he's there for the third out. Back at Comerica Park. And starting this one, you say Kikuchi. Having a pretty ridiculous season so far, Singy. Yeah, you see there with the sub-2 ERA, very dependable guy. And he's been pretty much lights out so far this season. So, you know, when a guy like this takes the mound, Berg, I'm expecting to watch him get into a rhythm quickly and just move through a ball game. Sometimes you can see some big strikeouts. Other times, it's hard to even know he's there because the innings go so quickly. Biggio. Throws to first. One up, one down. Here's Mark Canna. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Only two hits over the last five games. Into the outfield base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Didn't take long to get a result. With that at bat, really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. One ball. No strike. That one fouled off. Man at first, one away. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Knocks it down. So now it's the four hole hitter, Kerry Carpenter. First offering misses badly for ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. One out, runners at first and second. Swing and a miss, and the count one and two. One and two. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. 
That one finds the zone. It's two and two. And now the lefty stays alive. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Back here in Detroit. Second inning set to go. Danny Jansen to hit here. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So now the DH spot, Joey Votto. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Not one close with that one. One and two to count. And ball. there's a ball. Two balls. Two strikes. Still two and two after the foul ball. Righty delivers. Goes down looking. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you usually see very well, but for some reason he didn't pick it up, and it just kind of got him to the strike zone late, gave up on it a little bit early. Dalton Varsho, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. And that's downstairs and outside. Two out spaces empty. Good eye right there. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And it's fouled away. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Second inning here, no score. And they'll do it again. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. In time, the 2-3 strikeout ends the inning. And we're back. Bottom of the second. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Gets through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. On the ground to third. Wide throw, and it gets away. Lead runner touches second, hit for third. And it'll be first and third now after that miscue. The batter now, Javier Baez. That misses the zone. Yeah, that's ball one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. That one's in there, and it's one and two. Got him looking. And that is a big first out. Two on, one out. And now it's going to be Andy Abanez. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. High fly ball down the left field line. Reaches over the wall. And he's got it. And it takes for home. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Detroit 
order. And next to hit for Detroit, Gio oh, Urshela. Hey, First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swings through that one for strike one. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. Wow, nice play to his knee. The throw nicely done for the out. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. And that one fouled off. Kiner falefa a former Gold Glove winner, in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he's usually a third baseman, but today he's starting at shortstop. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Offering way off the plate. And that one hammered back there. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. And it sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Just missed. Well, Siggy, this is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses, and it's something that you see throughout the game. Sons, whose father has also played the majors. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. I can only imagine the comfort level of being in the ballpark for those kids who are fortunate enough to have a dad that played in the big leagues. Then oh. being on the baseball field, for Wait some it's pressure. For them, they feel that they are right at home. Man, it's second. Bounced up the middle. Keith over to first yeah. and one away in the top of the third. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. And that one is lifted in the air. It falls in, and that's a base hit. Throws to second. The tag. He's out. The one run scores, and we have a tie ball game. That one ripped right center field. Carpenter going back. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. And that's a two-out double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously? We're starting with this already. And now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Or Shella the first in time. And Guerrero is set down. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the left fielder, Mark Canna. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Good eye on that spot. One ball, one strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off pitch fouls it off still one and two but why to kick the pitch hey. struck him out looking here's Riley Green one for one with a single so far fouled off he was late the wind of the pitch out to short Connor Falefa whips it across and that quickly two away now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. That pitch in for a strike. Going along. And a foul ball. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Varsho after it. And that's the third out. Back at Comerica Park. Out of the fourth. Leading off, Justin Turner. Flaherty back to work. 
Ripped into right field, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Brings it in, and there's one down. Yeah, the batter now, Joey Votto. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. In the dirt, and that's ball one. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead. Doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. And that's in the dirt. And it's two and one. Turner leads off first with one away. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. He'll circle the bases, and they add a couple more. It's 3-1. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. So up next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho. That one, one not close. Okay. Ball one. Two runs across in the inning as we play game one of this four-game series. This one popped up. Baez settles underneath it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa next up for the Blue Jays. Doubled his first time up. The other way. Nice grab. Generally, not the type of great play you expect from a first baseman, but he does a great job of hauling that one down. Bottom four, and here is Jake Rogers. Rip to third. Tosses to first, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. On the ground to the left. Connor Falefa yep, throws the first out. in time. And a couple of quick outs. Key at the, the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. The That's next the pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Oh. Big swing and a miss. And Foul ball there. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That one the other way. Balls it in to end the inning. Tigers fail to make. Back here in Detroit. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now for the Jays, Kevin Biggio. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. No ball. Well, just threw one that strike. fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Comes up empty. Oh, That's good. strike two. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Green going after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. And the batter is George Springer. Right. Swing and a miss as he was late. Oh and one. one out, base is empty. Oh. The one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And a pitch. 
Swing and a miss. One ball. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. And the right hander deals. Caught him looking for the K. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Kevin Kiermeyer. Backed off the plate that time. With two out and nobody on, you want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind him. Swing and a miss. One and a count one, one and one. He's been great in this one. Eye hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Two outs. And that one is inside. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Javi Baez digs in right side. Flips the corner. Strike one. If they did a poll of top tattoos in Major League Baseball, Javi Baez, I think, would have to be in the top five. Right on the back of his neck is the Major League Baseball logo. So it's effectively right under the MLB logo that's on his head. In the dirt. Save! Baez into scored position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, these Tigers just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Out to short, Connor Falefa. Zips it across, but they cut it to one as the run comes in. Nice at bat right there, puts the ball in play and brings in a run from third. Now they only trail by one. Mark Ken getting ready to hit. And that's it for a strike. Oh and one. Two down bases empty, but one run across. Last half of inning number five. Biggio. To first, third out, and that ends the frame. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Smoked on the ground a second. Rowanda Torkelson and Guerrero is set down. Justin Turner now. That's out to center field. On the move. He's got it. And there's two away. Danny Jansen next up for the Blue Jays. One and the pitch is outside. Ball one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Shelby Miller getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Vest also getting ready. Late with the swing there. One ball. I think he was sitting off speed there. Two down. Nobody on. That one inside. And it's two and one. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Sizes this one up. And makes the grab. And that'll do it. So they go quietly there. Bottom of the six. Here's the center fielder, Riley Green. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Strike two. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. At the play, Kerry Carpenter. Right through there for a strike. Home team down a run here in the bottom of the six. Swings through that one for strike two. And misses inside. It's a good take. He goes down looking. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Jake Rogers. 
There's a strike. Rogers, 28 years old, and his last 10 games stand out. He's homered in four of them. Two outs. In the air, left side, under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Shelby Miller gets handed the rock out of the pen. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now fly ball to right center. He's got it. Run away. Well, those can be pretty fun as an out. to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. And a swing and miss. That misses the zone. And that is ball one. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Speed's probably coming. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Isaiah kiner falefa next up for the Blue Jays. One for two. Inside almost got him. Ground ball right side. Oh, great stop. Roll to the pitcher, and that's a great play for the out. First, it looks like making the stop is the hardest part, but feeding to the pitcher on the move, I think even tougher. Back at Comerica Park, and here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Balls it in, and there's one away. Man, he really turned on that one. Absolutely ripped it towards third, but quick cat-like reflexes down there at the high corner to bring it down. You can tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting, and right now, they just don't have it. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. Down the line, and it's foul. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No play, that's an infield single. One down, runner at first. Now it's Javier Baez. Just missed. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Oh, he botches it. Lead runner makes the turn at second. The third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one down. Runners in the corners here, one away. Andy Abanya up now for the Tigers. With the tying run at third, go ahead run at first. As we play game one of this four game series. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity. On the ground, two ball. Goes to safe. Safe there. Gior Shellen to the play. Three ground outs already. He's over three. That misses the zone. Ball one. down next offering is downstairs one out the go-ahead run is at second and another ball this is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Springer there makes the catch. And there are two down. Mark Canna up now for the Tigers. That pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1. That one missed. 
That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Two on, two outs. Got him! And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Nope. Will Vest. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. Right. The numbers. Back up with some of the best in the game. And he deals. Biggio up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Right-handed reliever. Bounced out to short. Baez. And they get Biggio for the out. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Slap the other way. Foul. All tied up, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Miguel Diaz getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Colton, the lefty, warming up as well. On the ground, Baez. In plenty of time to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Kevin Kiermeyer next up for the Blue Jays. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Canna, snag. Back. Out of the bullpen for the Jays, Zach Pop. The pitch. Now In the air, left field. Varsho moving under it, and it's caught for the out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. In the air, left field, down the line. Makes the catch for the second out. And up next for Detroit, Jake Rogers. That's hard hit on the line. Kiermaier makes the grab, and that is that. We go to the ninth, and now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., one for three. Best back to work. Swing and a miss, strike one. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Ball one there. And the righty deals. And a count one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. It's inside. Justin Turner waits on deck. That one hit to right. And there's one down. Here's Turner now. In the air, out towards right center. Carpenter on the move to the gap. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Danny Jansen next up for the Blue Jays. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Ball one, no strikes. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth.
And another ball. Fouls one off. Two and two. Chase the changeup, and it's a three up. Three. And we're back. Bottom up. A new arm into the game. The righty, Trevor Richards. The pitch. And fouled off. A one down. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Here it comes. Fights it off. He'll see another. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. We well, saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Swings through that one out in front one that ball. time. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in one and ball. get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Into center. Kiermaier moving under it. Brings it in for the third out. The new pitcher in the game, Miguel Diaz. And he's had a really hard time throwing strikes so far this season. His walk rate is up there among the worst in the league for relievers. Votto in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Strike. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field one right ball, here. Definitely strike. pounding him away. And a swing and a miss there. A lot of times you see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Not even close there. And the count is even two and two. would chase that time. Three and two. On the ground, out to short. Baez fires over to first. One away in the top half of the 10. So up next, Dalton Varsho. And he was nowhere near that one for strike one. Wow. That's not even close to the zone. Next pitch is outside. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Alex Lang, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. And another ball. Two and one. Base is empty, one away. Here in the top half of the 10. Not close with that one. Three and two down. Ball is foul, and the pressure is building. And that's ball four. Exactly what they needed him to deliver there, a quality at bat. Now the pressure's on to find a way to get him home. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. That's in for a strike. Throw safe. The middle, Keith. That takes care of Connor Falefa. 
Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. And that one fouled off. Two down, go-ahead run in scoring position. And a swing in the middle. He's falling behind in a huge spot, dude. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Left-hand batter waits. That's the ball. One ball. Two straight. Now this is in the air down the line. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Up the middle. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. Runner from third into score. It's 4-3. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes. usually wins the battle. Here's George Springer. Down the line. And a foul ball. Pidgeot, the runner at first with two gone. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. They don't expect too many more high fastballs. It's a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Righty delivers. Rubber takes off. Pitches low. Safe and second with a stolen base. One run across in the frame so far, and here in extra innings. And a base hit. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Safe. Hey, he's in there. Well, it's a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. Lane taking over on the mound. No pretty tight ball. game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Kiermaier at the plate with two oh, away one. swings through that one. Ground ball up the middle. Baez. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Jordan Romano. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down a win, so this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Devon Yates leading things off and takes a strike. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Oh, it's him. And the pitch. Gets under it and pops it up. And it falls. So now back to the top of the order. So the lineup flips over. Here's Gio Urshela. And there's the strike. A little out front there as he swings through. It. With the tying run at the plate. And the home team trying to pull it out. One ball. Two strikes. Got him! And that's the first out. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And they're down to their last out. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, Luke, get back on track. His team needs him. The Tigers down by a pair, and we're in the last half of the 10th. Off the mark there, 2-1. and one. Well, an interesting situation. Once 
Lifted to left, and that should do it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Blue Jays extend their winning streak to five in a row. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. The team is making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.